Alrighty, well, oh, Nick, bro, let me call this dude. Hello? Yo, what looks good? My face? No, oh, you said first class movie theater? Oh, yeah, I went to go watch Barbie. The movie theater I went to in the mall had a first class area. So instead of the tickets being $7, I paid $60 for a ticket. Dude, they had a first class lounge in the movie theater with the most disgusting triangle sandwiches ever and like this horrible fucking dessert. It was like the worst food ever, but it was just interesting that there's a first class lounge in a movie theater and then we had for the seats in the movie Movies. And they gave us a blanket and it was a reclining seat. It was fucking crazy. Look at this. First class lounge in a movie theater. It's fucking retarded. That is so, the biggest waste ever, but it was so funny. So yesterday you were in a bathtub with like five dudes rubbing burgers on each other, jacking each other off, and then you went to see Barbie right after? No, I saw Barbie today. Last night was the gay fest with all the dudes. Oh, I see. I mean, you could be here and you could be a part of this, Nick. My parents would be really pissed if they saw me in the past I was like you're, you're 25 right yeah but I mean I still care about like if my parents like think I'm like a total loser or something like that or a weirdo they're your parents dude they're not ever gonna think you're a loser or a weirdo look at me dude if I was in a bathtub bro like yeah I don't know what the fuck you guys were doing you're rubbing burgers on each other in a bathtub with five guys you were like touching each other's dicks and licking each other's nipples and like a bunch of weird shit yeah but your parents aren't gonna judge you for that they're gonna be like oh that's maybe weird whatever I wouldn't do it, but they're not going to disown you. They're not going to disown me, but they'll be disappointed in me. All right, I'll put it this way. What's going to disappoint your parents more? Licking my nipple in a bathtub half naked or sitting in your room for 20 hours straight drinking beer? You passed out on stream as well, and I watched you sleep for four hours. I mean, that was an accident. No, but real shit, bro. I think it's either being gay as fuck or being an alcoholic. Which one? Would I haven't been no, but I don't drink that much. I mean, I've been drinking before this, I believe, in like a month. I mean, dude, you sat in your room for 20 hours drinking beer. Yeah, I had no content. Yeah, well, guess what? If you lick my nipple, you'll have content. I don't want to do that either. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. I won't make you lick my nipple, dude, if you come. I want to show you Sherlock. It's not. It's actually one of the safest countries in Asia. Sri Lanka is safe? Is that third world or is that first world? No, it's first world. It is? It is first world and it's very safe. They have four seasons, everything. This is what you do. You come here, you stream three days a week, coding videos four days a week. Boom. There you go. You're right. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Alright, in like a couple days I'll book up ticket. And then you'll come over to where I'm at in a couple days? A couple days I'll book a ticket for maybe, I mean, I don't know if it's cheap, like I'll do it the next day, but Maybe it's cheaper to do like a few days in advance. And then what? You'll travel the world with me indefinitely? I mean, I'll try if I can make money, man. I mean, if you give me this fucking, give me like something where I, you know, at least pay my internet. I bought this backpack. I fucking haven't posted any coding videos in like two months and I have savings, but I can't Thank just you. like bleed money like nonstop forever. So you've given up your life as a coding video guy to do drinking streams in your apartment? Shut up. No, I didn't fucking give up my life. I have a video that I have filmed and that already. And also, I ordered stuff. Dude, yeah, I didn't give up my fucking life to do a live stream. I mean, you, have, you said you haven't posted in two months, bro. You gave up everything to sit in your apartment and drink beer. I have videos I'm filming right now. I have two dates and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, hopefully, just, yeah, don't give up everything. And wait until you you are actually, you know, like... I have savings. Dude, I'm not retarded. I'm just trying to, you know, I don't know. I have no real fans. I just have people that thank me for getting them a job or going to college. So, well, it's kind of nice, like, you know, nice beside an audience when the people like me or whatever. You have real fans now, Nick. I know. Your fans. <laughs> yeah. Once you hate me, they're all gone. No, but they're your fans too, bro, and they're going to keep watching you no matter what. Why would I hate you? Just don't do not do like some weird shit. Don't like how to fuck my girlfriend or something, and you're good. I mean, what, I mean, I, I don't think I should do it. Don't do anything like that. But I'm just saying, like, in general, like, just don't, you know, you would, why would I hate you? It was a joke because it's your fan. Chad, imagine Nick White in Sri Lanka. That just sounds like absolute content to me. It's a very nice country. It's first world. They have nice hotels, nice beaches, everything. It's so nice. You can get anything you want off a stall on the side of the road. They have 7-Elevens, whatever, dude. All right. I mean, if 
it's actually nice. I'll go for sure. But I mean, I'm gonna go places where it's not nice, Nick, yeah, as well. Really, I, what, well, how long until you? I mean, you still have to stay in Thailand. If I go there, I'm gonna have to be there for a while. Yeah, but then we then we go somewhere else. I mean, if you want to travel the world with me, there's gonna be times where we go to I places. Travel, honestly, Victor basically was hyping me up. He's like, bro, I'm leaving the nine to five life. I'm going to travel the world. Ice beside it. I'm like, yo, that's actually cool, man. I'm gonna do it too. And then I was like, why? I don't need that. I guess I, I can just buy a ticket and come visit you. I don't know the way he was talking about it. He was like hyping me up. Is, uh, bro, that's. That's so, that's so funny. Is that what he said? He's like, I'm leaving the nine to five to go fucking work for ice he's, beside. He's in his apartment. He's in a storage unit. He's like giving me all these points. He's like, bro, you're your, he's sending me motivational quotes, like motivational videos on Instagram. Like, no, he's not. Everything. Take the risk now. Motivational videos? Yeah, he sent me like the quotes from The Godfather and shit like that. Bro, he put all his trust into me, bro. Yeah, he's like super hyped up. Like going to travel and shit. Oh, bro, that's so funny. Yeah, no. I'm, me and Victor are going to travel the world, and he's going to be a fantastic camera guy. And you can join us, Nick. Think about this. It could be. Dude, he was at the point of like convincing me, like, bro, he was really dead to like ditch your apartment and get a storage unit. Now is the time. Like, he was over and over. I'm like, should I get rid of my apartment? And then I'm like, no, this is fucking stupid. I'll just go fly. I just keep my apartment and go visit. All right. Well, I think you should visit for at least a few months at a time. Just doing these long flights are really stupid. Think about this, Nick. It could be right now, you're sitting in your apartment, making coding videos. You're maybe a little burnt out, bored. You want something new in your life. You have an opportunity right now to travel across amazing lands like Sri Lanka and Burundi with the likes of Ice Poseidon for indefinitely for months at a time. Gambling across the world. I mean, yeah, sounds kind of good. Sounds like a much better life than what you're already living, right? I mean, it is more fun than coding videos in my apartment. What do you think about Africa? It is a continent. A continent that you would love to go to? I mean, depends on where. I can see it now. Netflix documentary. Nick White enters the Congo. <laughs> what? Would you join me in the Congo? The fuck it, I don't know. I don't know shit about the Congo. You're like dropping all this fucking thing. I don't know anything. I don't know anything, man. I bring Nick I don't know to a shit. fucking to, to a tribe and un, like some fucking tribe out in the in the Congo, dude. And they eat like fucking deer and shit. He walks up with McDonald's in his hand. They eat deer. I mean, every, don't we eat deer too or no? Is that not a thing? Yeah, we eat deer. I mean, whatever, man. I don't know. Yeah, sure. I walked up with McDonald's. As long as I'm not in danger, sure, I'll do whatever. No, you're not in danger. Don't worry. I, bro, it's all good. But if we actually go to the Congo, I would hire like a SUV full of fully armed security guards. I also don't want lifelong illnesses, though. So, well, be careful of that, too. Well, get your shots and you'll be good. Like polio and shit. All right, Nick. Well, when you get your IRL backpack, let me know and we'll uh, let's come out here and let's have some fun. All right, I'll be here in a couple days and I'll damn you. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, have a good stream, everyone. <laughs> it's gonna be real fun. I don't think he knows what it's what, what to expect, but that's the fun part. I just can't wait to travel the world with Victor as my camera guy. We can go to real crazy places, bro. I don't have to hold a camera. I don't have to carry a heavy backpack. Ooh, it gives me so much more freedom. And also, people will talk to me if he can stand far away and film me for certain occasions.